What's going on everyone, Talon back here, and today, well, the movie hype has officially started. At the time of this recording, I have gotten off work a little early, I'm making this video, I'm gonna translate every little thing that we possibly know, and I know a lot of people have not been talking about, and they will be asking in the next few days, so if you have to, if they are asking, refer them to this video, because it's gonna cover literally everything. We're talking campaigns, we're talking missions, we're talking cards, we're talking everything, okay? Granted, this is only part one, so pretty much part two, uh, I'd say in a week and a half, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'd say back, probably two weeks, is, gonna, is where all of it's going to be. So without further ado, let's get into everything right now, because I have to go see the Broly movie in two hours. Let's do this. So first off, we are having the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie campaign part one, okay? Note the kanji for part one. We have it up on the side right now. This is going to be referring to all the missions and everything, so if you happen to be going through the missions later on during the week and you're like, I, wait, did I actually complete this? And you're seeing this and like, I don't know what this means. It's like, oh, but it has a part one here and Talon covered this in his video, so there we go, and this is what it means, okay? So, without further ado, let's keep going on. Anyway, uh, so there is going to be a Broly story event. There are four SSRs that we are going to be able to farm up. We're going to go over the translations here in just a minute. There are some part one missions as well to get a bunch of stones and usual Kai's and everything. There's going to be a retweet campaign. Now, one thing about this retweet, retweet campaign is that this does not start until Tuesday the 18th. And that's when, like, you know, Goku Black and everything goes away. So that is when this starts. So if you're going around wondering, like, uh, why can't I retweet anything? Or why isn't there anything that's showing up? This is why. It's not starting until Tuesday. So just relax and everything okay so and then also there is going to be a little uh sns thing which we have not had in a while where that little horn thing will show up every, once a day on the game and you can either like send it to line uh twitter or maybe facebook for global i'm not sure though but this is a good just on simply on jp uh generally it only deals with line and twitter though so you can get a stone a day that's pretty cool stuff right there uh, again, the retweet campaign will be where, you know, Doken's going to, or, yeah, Doken will simply say, Hey, get this many retweets on something, and if we reach that goal, then we're gonna get this or something like that. Don't think that we're getting some Broly character. We could possibly could, but don't think that, oh, it's him because the Broly picture's on here. If we retweeted it enough, we're then gonna get Super Saiyan Broly for some reason, or some free card or something like that, okay? I'm sure it's just gonna be like stones. Maybe, uh, it will then awaken another card that I'm gonna talk about here in a little bit, and then something else happens. Who knows? But anyway. So that's going to be a retweet campaign, and that is from the 18th until the 25th, so really not that long, actually. We get a week. That's that's it. So, yeah, get those retweets out, I guess. Um, anyway, so let's keep going on into more explicit details, though, okay? First off, let's go do the missions real quick, because I know everyone wants their free stones and everything like that. Granted, there's not much here, but it does, again, going to lead into part two and potentially even part three down the road, so... Anyway, so these are the part one missions. These go until the 16th. The best when most of this stuff is going to be going away is on the 16th. So you got a month. So don't feel like you have to rush or anything when it comes to this stuff, okay? Again, part one of the kanji right here. It's on the side. So you're going to take a look at that. Anyway, beat story mode one time, five times, ten times, fifteen times. Just simply go into the new Broly event, beat all the stages. You know, you're going to be grinding and trying to get the new cards and everything. Boom, you're going to get this one, no problem. Very, very simple. Very easy to do, no problem, okay? This next one right here is simply obtain a character from one of the events. So this is just simply a card that drops and that you will obtain it. Boom, there you go. You can go ahead and get that little uh, Hercule statue right there. Next one is go into training mode. We always get a training mode one, right? So just go into training mode, train anybody up, doesn't matter who, and you'll get uh, some training items. Z, awaken somebody. Again, pretty straightforward. And then Doken Awaken Somebody. Now, the Doken Awaken Somebody has to be from the four character. Uh, technically, there's only one character, and that's the Tech Vegeta, which we're going to go over here in just a second. Uh, but bottom line, Doken Awaken the Vegeta, which will be super easy for everybody, and you get two stones right there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, 100, 250, 500, 750, and 1,000 acts. Pretty standard stuff or stamina, if you're guessing if you're coming from global, but you do play GP as well. Bottom line, you'll get it knocked out no problem. And then complete all missions, and you get three stones. So, again, not too hard. Um, none of these are asking you to actually take in certain teams into certain events or anything like that. I am going to guess that that's probably going to be around part two, where it's like, you know, bring in someone from the movie boss category or something like that into this particular event and beat it, and whatever the case may be, okay? But anyway, for these zooms right here, aside from the Doken Awaken somebody, which of is going to be the Tech Vegeta. You're all good to go. All you need to do is to simply do the things that I just mentioned before, and you're going to get everything. So pretty standard stuff, okay? Next, I know a lot of people are going to be asking about this, even though 99.9% .9 of you cannot do this uh, if you do not live in Japan. 
And the reason for that is because this is basically a campaign to go ahead and get some of the merchandise from the movie, essentially, okay? And I, I'm, I'm being very vague there when I say there's this campaign to do this and everything, okay? So there's not much, and there's no, there's not much details on the site right now itself. If you actually go to the site, it simply just shows you the merchandise that you could potentially get. But it does state some uh, very basic things like, hey, if you want to get this stuff and you do win it, perhaps, or whatever details they're going to give us in the future, uh, you have to live in Japan. They're not going to ship it outside of Japan, okay? So this is kind of like that statue of Goku again. Remember the LR Goku statue from year one or 1 1.5 celebration? Raise your hands if you do, because that's basically what this is. And you cannot get it if you are outside of the country. So, hey, if someone wins, though, you want to ship it to me, by all means, I'll take it. <laughs> but other than that, uh, it's, it, you really can't do much. Uh, but you do have a chance, though, to win a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta or SSB Gogeta. So that's pretty cool right there. And then some of, there's some other ones as well. Um, I don't know why it's going all the way until February. I'm not really sure why, but it, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, and like I said, there's not much details in terms of what you have to do in order to register or anything like that. It is basically a campaign uh, on the site. But when I clicked on the site myself personally, maybe by the time a lot of you are watching this, it could potentially change. But again, it's not going to affect most of you because you're not going to be able to get the prize anyway. So uh, anyway, so that's essentially what that is. Uh, if you're looking at it from the game, it, the picture looks like this where it shows the three... Uh, Gogeta statues essentially so that's what it is so yeah uh, other than that not much other details when it comes to that particular event okay going on to, to the story events real quick which again I know it's not really like woo all kind of thing but anyway bottom line there's five stages four stages hold a character each and then one stage holds the medals for Vegeta and now we're gonna get into the cards themselves because first off we have the free to play extreme int Broly this was from the uh easy B the uh, extreme Z battle uh that we had back in what august give or take yeah nonetheless so he is here now uh he is movie boss category key plus one hp attack and defense up 30 percent so a baby lead essentially he has supreme damage and he raises his attack via the kaioken mechanic so it will continue to increase technically forever okay uh then going into his passive skill own attack and defense up 30 percent and then at the beginning of the turn for every single turn you'll gain an additional 20 percent attack and defense for a total of 40 percent so really only two more times that he comes back around so again that's going to be 70 percent attack and defense which is pretty nice nice thing about this guy though he is both prepared for battle and shocking speed and he's extreme int which means he's going to fit decently well onto either a an extreme int team or b into a movie boss category depending on who you bring if you happen to have a couple of sands in there or again on the extreme inside if you happen to be bringing say for example the lr uh int vegeta so something to consider right there uh, him not being Doken Awakened just yet into his TUR where he does all like, you know, mouth beam or anything like that. I suspect that if we do get some kind of Doken Awaken or maybe they do the EZA thing, which I don't think they will because he doesn't have obviously farmable orbs or anything. Uh, we'll get that somewhere in part two probably where he will Doken Awaken because they are supposed to be adding stages to this story event actually, uh, from what I've been seeing. So I wouldn't be surprised down the line if we then didn't see medals for him to awaken, maybe even the next card, which is going to be the Goku that we're going to talk. Well, we'll talk about Goku when we get to him actually. Um... But I would be surprised, though, if down the line, though, more of these characters do awaken. Maybe they add even more in because, uh, <coughs> Super Saiyan, oh, God, Vegeta, where the hell are you? Come on, Akatsuki, where is he? So, anyway, so this is the Broly right here. This is him with the orbs if he had decided to 100% him. So, yeah, I mean, not bad for a free-to-play unit, right? And, again, if he awakens, he'll probably get the usual, you know, category key plus two and maybe 50% or something like that because, again, he's a free-to-play baby lead of the movie boss category. So, pretty cool, okay? Uh, next is Frieza, and he is going to be the uh, transformation category, you know, the uh, STR Boo, essentially. So he is key plus one, stats up 30%, just like Broly was for the movie boss category. Uh, supreme damage, and he will raise extreme types attack for 20% by 20% by for one turn. So that's pretty cool right there. He's basically a support unit, actually. So basically, he mitigates damage by 20%, and then every time he is attacked, he is, his defense goes up by 15% for a total of 45%. Kind of weird, so it's just 50 or something like that. And then also for everyone in the movie boss category, he gives them key plus one in attack and defense up 20%. Uh, I know he's technically not, he, I don't know if he's technically optimal, but he probably would be now, even though Turtleist I know does give 40%, obviously just simply under his leader skill. Uh, not bad, not bad at all for that kind of movie boss uh, support lead essentially. So what's really funny about this guy though, aside, you know, his links are kind of where they are, what they are. He does get shocking speed, which is nice. He's not actually in the movie boss category. He is in, again, the transformation category, but he's not in the movie boss category, but he is a support unit 
for the movie boss category. So I don't know if that is a glitch and they are going to fix that later with just a simple patch or what the case may be, but uh, yeah, <laughs> go moving on. Okay, anyway, we are going on to the Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. He is the only one as of right now that Doken awakens from this event because his medals are there, okay? And I have to admit, his essay animation looks mwah, beautiful. So anyway, he is movie hero. So yeah, the whole speculation of everyone thinking that potentially Gogeta could eventually be in the movie heroes category probably doesn't seem so far-fetched anymore. Uh, with this guy being a baby lead and Gogeta and that kind of stuff with the Super Saiyan full power Broly probably coming out in, uh, you know, around New Year's, which I'll get into a little bit in a minute here. Uh, he's the baby lead of that, basically. Key plus two after you Doken Awaken him. Uh, HP attack and defense up 50%. Causes supreme damage, raises defense for one turn. And then uh, his passive skill is his own attack and defense up 50%. And then everyone in... Oh, sorry. When you are fighting somebody from the movie boss category, okay, then your own attack goes up by an additional 40% and you get plus three key. I don't really know why all of a sudden we're starting to see these things about... Facing this particular, you know, enemy, essentially. I mean, it doesn't say that you have to go into a certain event or anything, but if you're not facing off against that particular type of opponents, then half his passive is not even used, and he's honestly kind of am at that. I mean, I know he's free to play and everything like that, but still. Um, I, I don't know. Let me know your guys' thoughts in terms of that. I mean, I understand. If the categories could eventually get big enough to where, aside from maybe a few events, overall, you might generally start being able to activate that passive no matter what. But uh, as of right now, especially movie bosses, I mean, the category is not huge. It's not small, but it's not huge. So I, I don't know how I honestly feel about this. I don't really like it right now. Maybe in the future I will, and I'll be like, oh, you know what? It's actually not that bad. You hardly notice it because you're always activating it, but... As of right now, yeah, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't know. So yeah, anyway, moving on. So uh, that Vegeta though, he's obviously free to play. That's what he looks like with the orb system investment. I will rainbow him because I have a ton of tech orbs left over. Uh, yeah, he's just, his SNM animation is pretty cool. He rips his coat off and everything, so... And finally is Goku, and this is uh, someone I probably think will probably awaken later on when they keep adding more of the story uh, stages into that story mode right now. But Goku is the movie heroes category, key plus one, HP, attack, and defense up 30%, just like Vegeta when he's in base form. And then probably if he ever does Doken Awaken, which I'm assuming he probably will in the Super Saiyan Blue, then it'll be the 50% and everything. He increases his attack for one turn, uh, and then he does supreme damage as well. And then he is his own attack and defense up 40%. And then when facing someone in the movie boss category, his own defense goes up by 30%. And then he gets plus two key. So, sorry, an additional 30%, I should say. So, 50%, or sorry, 70% defense, 40% attack, and then key plus two if you happen to be fighting someone in the movie boss category. Again, kind of the same thing with Vegeta. It's like, really? Uh, I, I, don't, I don't get the whole facing off against certain categories right now, so... Uh, one note thing to note about him though, he does get shocking speed and prepare for battle, so that's pretty nice right there. I have a feeling he'll lose one of those for some reason if he does Doken Awaken, which is just stupid. So just keep let him keep super uh, fierce not fierce battle, uh shocking speed and prepare for battle. So I don't know. It is what it is. So anyway guys, those are all the brand new cards when it comes to all the movie stuff. There are the missions translated, there are the campaigns translated. And my own, I guess the last thing to really talk about would be my last little thoughts on when are the big boys coming, right? When are the SSB Gogeta coming and when are the full powered Super Saiyan Broly or whatever you want to call them essentially. And I'm going to say that's going to be for New Year's stuff. LR Trunks and Mai, that's one thing I didn't cover that came with this data download real quick, is the LR Trunks and Mai, which are dropping in at the time of this recording, less than 20 minutes. So, um, but yeah, basically... Uh, if you are able to, you know, keep saving your stones and great, but LR Trunks and Mai will be in a little kind of double rising event banner, essentially. Uh, every time you summon, you're going to either get, you're going to get a Santa of a, of Matsuroshi, and then you're also going to get the Kid Trunks and Mai. So that's something right there. I don't know what's going to be on the banner. I don't think there's going to, obviously there's no data download stuff of this. So there's not going to be any new Dragon Ball Broly cards. So no Super Saiyan God Vegeta or anything like that. So I'm hoping that stuff will be around New Year's, which would make sense. Because the sale right now that's going on, it's kind of puny, to be honest. I mean, it's meant simply just to be like, hey, come buy some stones and do some few summons on the movie banner or on this uh, LR banner, essentially. But and again, it's not really an LR banner. It's more of a double rates banner from the looks of it, at least. Um... Again, I, I'm not really sure, so. Uh, but I would say, say though, honestly, uh, hype stuff probably coming around New Year's, like right after Christmas. I expect data downloads and news things like no tomorrow. 
Oh boy, Christmas is gonna be crazy because I'm gonna have to have Christmas, I'm gonna have to record and everything. It's gonna be a fun time. So, but nonetheless, that's what I have my personal thoughts. So anyway, guys, let me your thirst. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments as always. Leave a like if you liked the video. I'm gonna go watch the Broly movie and I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is Talon signing out. <laughs>